William Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Alpha Wolf 29DQ. This is a great unit. It's fairly unique in the fact that rather than having a bunk room in the back, you have a second queen bed. As you'll see, you also have a super slide helping to open up this main living space. Now let's actually start right back here on the bedroom. So one of the things you'll notice is that you have this kind of farm style door right here. It's a pretty nice looking door. Just uh, undo the latch and that slides right across. Uh, the only thing I don't really care about it is that, you know, if you're not perfectly level like we're not right now, there's nothing holding it down at the bottom so it does kind of swing a little bit. But other than that, you know, it works fairly well. It just sliding it across and then it's sliding it right back. As we do take a step in here, as I mentioned, you have the queen bed right in the back. So the reason I love this layout is, you know, I have some customers sometimes that ask me if I have something where, you know, their mother-in-law comes along with them or other family members, or maybe they have some older kids, right? You have the actual bed here. Or I've had a lot of couples where, you know, the, the husband or wife may snore a lot. And so this way you're on opposite end of the campers. You both have your own space. You know, you can uh, meet in the middle when everyone wakes up, but that way you're not waking each other up with snoring. So a uh, great queen bed right back here, though. You'll see you do have some wardrobe storage there, hanging rod going across, so you have a place to hang the clothes. You'll also see storage all across the top right there with LED lights underneath. You'll have the window right there. You have a nightstand. You'll also see uh, electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports. And then you have connections for a TV right up top in case you want a TV in here as well. You'll also notice storage underneath. Now there is a heat duct running through here, so that way it's heated in the back. But that's still a pretty good storage area. You know, if you have some uh, larger items you want to put in there, gives you the capability to do that. Making our way back out, you will notice the super slide right here. Big U-shaped dinette. That way, you know, you can easily sit four people around here. You have a little bit of extra elbow room. And you have the oversized drawers. I really love these drawers for the size. Now, they're not on any glides or anything, so they, they kind of lock in place. So what you do is you take the handle, you lift it up a little bit, and then you can pull it out just like so. And you know, they just kind of sit right down like that. So, uh, you know, again, not that they're super easy sliding or anything, but the fact they are so big really lets you store large items. Most of the time, the storage underneath the dinette is, you know, a half, maybe a quarter of that size. So I certainly appreciate those. Also, this drops down into a uh, large bed. So if you need the sleeping space, you just remove the legs the flanges right here in the floor as well as the table this bad boy drops right down you'll see the rails right here take some back cushions throw them on top that creates that sleeping space you can sleep two additional adults there if you so choose in the slide you have the windows you'll notice the roller shades on here uh you know i like the beige it just makes it a little bit brighter so if you do close it down at night uh, you know again it's just it feels a little more airy not so closed in you have the wall sconce as well as the ceiling light there. Kind of a cool decoration. They have like the bubbles on the glass. Kind of neat. Right over here is the jackknife sofa. So you have removable armrests on both sides. Uh, the great thing about a jackknife is all the storage you get underneath. You can see that right there. So uh, excellent storage, easy to access. That also drops down into a small bed. While you're sitting to either of those, you'll have a decent view to the TV right here. You'll see that the mount is already located. You'll have another one of these mounts outside, so if you want, you can, you know, whatever TV you get, you can take off, haul it right to the outside, and drop it in place right there. The connections for that TV are up top. Large pantry, uh, you know, and obviously it says pantry there, but I do like this glass insert. You know, I have some people that uh, don't care for it. I personally think it's kind of cute. Adds a nice little touch there. It is frosted, so you can't really see what's in there. But you'll see it is a, a large pantry, you know, great extra space for all of your food items. And you'll also notice the drawer, or the shelves rather, don't come all the way forward. So if you have brooms, mops, things like that you want to store in there, you have a little bit of space to do so. Right next to that is the fridge-freezer combo. Opening that up, you'll see plenty of space in here. A couple of drawers right down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Yeah, the rest of your appliances in here are stainless, so the microwave up top, hood right underneath that with a light and fan. Uh, kind of a decorative backsplash right there, cleans up nice and easy. Plus, you have the cooktop. This does, uh, the glass cover here does fold up and back, so that way this kind of doubles as a backsplash as well. Uh, you, you'll see with this glass cover, you kind of have to lift it up a little bit or it gets stuck, but lift it up just like that, kind of slide it back. And again, that's uh, kind of a double backsplash. When it's down, obviously it acts as prep space. 
But three burners right there, the controls right up front. These knobs do light up if you like that look. If not, of course, you can shut that off. And then underneath is your oven if you want to do some baking. Uh, along with the blue lights, you also have a blue light above the slide. I don't currently have that on, but there is a switch. So you have the blue light up top, kind of matches with the blue light right over here, helps uh, bring both of those together. Seamless countertops on here. It's a, a thermal foil countertop, which is nice. Uh, because of that, it allows you to undermount the sink. The cool thing about this, it's actually one of my favorite sinks because it has the apron front on here, kind of following the residential trend. Beautiful stainless steel sink, high-rise faucet there. A little bit of uh, storage right here underneath. You'll notice the sink top cover there as well, so you do have, or so you can use all of that as prep space. Coming around to the side, two full extension drawers, so you have a place for all of your flatware and any other utensils you need to store in there. Additional storage right up top next to the multimedia center. And then right around the corner here is your main control panel with your, uh, you'll see your lights on here as well as your outside lights, your uh, water pump and heater, and then your tank monitoring panel is there too. If you take a look at the bathroom here, you'll notice there are a couple entrances and exits. One into the main living area, one right here into the bedroom, and then there's a third one that leads directly outside. This is great if guests need to come in and use the restroom, come right in, do their business, head right back out. That way you're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. Right down here is the foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat here just to kind of show you that you have plenty of room. You know, your, your right leg might bump up against the shower a little bit, but you can either, you know, kind of pull a Captain Morgan and put your leg up here or just kind of deal with it, you know, move a little bit over to the side. As far as shoulders, I have plenty of space. It is a porcelain bowl as well, so it cleans up really nice. It'll stay looking nice for longer than a plastic one as well. Over to this side here is the shower. Now, a couple different things here. Uh, one is the, the height. I'll start there. I'm uh, six foot. As you can see, with this skylight, I can stand underneath it. Without it, I, I definitely am, hit, am hitting the ceiling, but the skylight takes up the majority of the space in here anyway. I don't have a ton of room, so if you know, you're six two, six three, you'll probably have to bend down a little. But you know, if you're my height or shorter, you'll definitely be fine. You'll see the hand wand there as well as a couple of shelves. You'll also notice that the, the, uh, the, the basin here isn't quite as deep as a normal tub, but it does have a higher threshold wall than your normal shower, which is nice. So that way the curtain will actually stay in. You know, when you go to shut it, it's not flopping all over, sending water everywhere. So I do, I do like the fact that it's a little bit taller threshold there. Right over here in the corner, you have the large sink. Uh, it, it is a, a composite sink. It's not a porcelain, but I like the fact that it is larger. So that way, you know, if you're washing your hands or brushing your teeth, you have this a uh, lot of space there. A lot of them give you these small bowls. You go to wash, you have water everywhere. You'll see an electrical outlet right over there, mirrored medicine cabinet up top with storage behind that, and then additional storage right there underneath. The master bedroom also has a queen bed right here in the center, just like we had in the back. The difference though is when we lift it up, you don't have a heat duct underneath for your storage. So you do have full access and use of that entire storage area. Both sides have mirrored wardrobe with a hanging rod going across. You'll see your nightstand right down underneath that. Both sides will have dual USB ports as well as your standard 110 there. Going across the top is storage. You have the fluted glass. When I open that up, you can kind of see the storage you're working with up top there. And then right here at the foot of the bed, you have another TV mount, just like you had in the main living area. So if you want just one TV, you can move it from room to room. Or if you want to have a second one in here, you can certainly do that as well. And then right up top are the connections for it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Alpha Wolf DQL. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. Right behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Then you'll see the rails right down below there for your battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And right above that is your three quarter front cap. Not only does this give a great look, but it also adds a little insulation value right up front. And then you will see you have the LED uh, docking lights inlaid there as well. Coming around to the side, solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy portable panels, plug it in right there, it's already pre-wired, and it will trickle charge your battery. The pass-through storage actually has a side swinging door. It does have the slam latch on there. You take a look inside, you'll see it is very open. Same size door on either side, so you can fit some big items in here. You also have two LED lights there. 
right down underneath is the, uh, the power stabilizer jacks. You have one control for the front two, another control for the rear two. Do bear in mind, folks, that is not a auto level system. You want your camper to be level before you uh, stabilize it. That just helps prevent the rocking. Just makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to manually do it. You'll have two leash latches, one right up front, another one right in the back. So that way you can uh, have your loved ones hang out with the outside here without having them you know, chase someone that's riding by on a bike or something like that. Uh, you will also notice the, uh, the sides. This is your laminated siding on here, fiberglass of course. This one is vacuum bonded, so excellent lamination process they have on the Alpha Wolf. Large power awning that covers both doors, so touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You have two entrances and exits into this coach. The first one right here, this goes directly into the bathroom, the main one being in the back. The cool thing about this though is that both of them have the more ride step above step system. It's a great step system, folds right up into the door when you're not using it. Aluminum treads on here with grip tape. The aluminum doesn't rust. Of course, the grip tape there will get you some extra traction. I would like to see a little bit bigger grab handle on here because you know you do have to be on pretty much a second step before you can use it, but it does give you a little something there so you have that extra control when entering or exiting. The extreme weather Arctic package on here, you know, as I mentioned, this one does have the fully enclosed and heated underbelly with the uh, forced air down there. So that way, as long as you're running the furnace, it'll help prevent the things uh, underneath from freezing up on you. Here is that TV mount on the outside. So as I mentioned, you can take that same TV, put it right in here if you want. That way, uh, you know, it's nice, easy hookup. Your cable and everything for that is right here, as well as your electrical outlet. A couple outside speakers there as well if you want to jam out to the radio. Right down here, aluminum alloy rims. They're absolutely gorgeous. Great thing about that is that aluminum doesn't rust. They will stay looking nice for years to come. Tire pressure monitoring system on here too. You know, it's something that's super simple. I imagine it probably didn't cost them much more than you know, a dime, maybe a quarter to put those on there. But uh, they, they are a nice extra feature. So that way, if your tire pressure does start getting low, instead of being green, it'll flip to red. Just let you know that it's, it's uh, time to fill those up before you take it out. Black tank flush right here, another great convenience feature. Rather than sticking a hose down the toilet to wash it out, you just put it right there. A black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Main entrance is right here. So again, the more ride step above step system. This one does have the larger grab handle on here as you will be using this entrance more often than not. And so that way you can uh, have that extra control from the very first step. The second leash latch, as I mentioned, is right there. And directly down underneath is a propane quick connect. So if you want to grill out here, you can put it right there, plug it in. That way it'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to get the little green ones. Your uh, second control for the rear stabilizer jacks, outside shower right there with both hot and cold water access. You have the square tubular bumper with the end cap, so it gives you a spot to store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is the spare tire with the rear cover on here to help keep that spare tire in good shape. Plus, it's probably one of the easiest places to access it. You can also see right here that uh, that enclosed and insulated underbelly. You can kind of see that, that corrugated uh, uh, underbelly here coming right up to the front. So as I mentioned, that does help keep a lot of the road grime out of there, as well as help keep it insulated a little bit better. You take a look up top, you will see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to install. It's already pre-wired, so it's basically a plug and play, meaning it'll save you a lot of money on labor. Coming around to the side, 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right in there, satellite inlet, cable inlet. You will have your fresh water inlet right up top, city water inlet right down below. And just in case that uh, storage up front wasn't quite big enough for you, you see a large additional storage area right back here. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Alpha Wolf 29 DQ. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.